Jesus is alive. Please join with me to open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for loving us and sending us your only begotten Son 
Jesus Christ to be born on this earth as one of us human beings, 100% God and 100% man. During his life, Jesus was tempted just as we are, yet he never sinned. Therefore, he volunteered to be the sinless sacrifice for us, dying on the cross to pay for all our sins. Now you, Heavenly Father, have raised Jesus from the dead in order to offer us salvation as a free gift. If we repent of, confess, and forsake our sins, receiving Jesus Christ as our Savior, then we believers are filled with the Holy Spirit to help us grow to be like Jesus so that we will be ready for eternal life in heaven. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Throughout the ages, people have clamored for peace and security in a world that was often filled with fear and uncertainty. 
Even in times of transitory outward peace, they still could not find any peace within themselves. But the Bible has a message of hope for all who are bewildered by life and aching inside. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. This passage of scripture is in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 27. I believe that God has given us this song that you just heard, based on the word of God, for just a time as this. Over 40 years ago, I myself came to live in the sanctuary of peace promised by Jesus, so I can boldly testify to the truth of his comforting words. This song tells you what you would need to know in order to embrace for yourself his transforming promise. After each phrase of the song, a passage from the Bible will be read to demonstrate how the Word of God has inspired the meaning of the lyrics. You, meaning Christians, were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold, from your futile way of life inherited from your forefathers, but with precious blood, as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. For he was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these last times for the sake of you, who through him are believers in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. Then I, meaning Jesus, said, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God. By this, God's, will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. All of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus have been baptized into his death. Therefore, we have been buried with him through baptism into death, in order that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. When we and live for you. The Apostle Paul wrote, I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, my old self, but Christ lives in me. Present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice, acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. And Jesus, on the cross, cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit, meaning he died. And behold, the veil of the temple in front of the Holy of Holies was torn in two from top to bottom, which was an act of God. Now the Lord spoke to Moses, after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they had approached the presence of the Lord and died. Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 through 3. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell your brother Aaron that he shall not enter at any time into the holy place inside the veil of the Holy of Holies, before the mercy seat which is on the ark, lest he die. For I will appear in the cloud over the mercy seat, Aaron shall enter the holy place with this, with a bull for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering, once a year on the Day of Atonement. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 
You have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and abiding word of God. In John chapter 1 verse 14, Christ's name is given as the Word of God. Therefore, brethren, we have confidence to enter the holy place, the holy of holies, by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way which he inaugurated for us through the veil, that is, his flesh. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and that you are not your own? For you have been bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body. You are not in the flesh, the old self, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. But if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. So receive Christ's gift of eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the former lusts which were yours in your ignorance, but like the Holy One who called you, be holy yourselves also in all your behavior, because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. Jesus said, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. The Apostle Paul wrote, Join with me in suffering for the gospel according to the power of God who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was granted us in Christ Jesus from all eternity but now has been revealed by the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Jesus said, You are my friends if you do what I command you. I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Whoever will call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Jesus said, The tax collector was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I to your perfect will. 
Jesus said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to become conformed to the image of his Son. Temptations from the world. Do not love the world, nor the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. The world is passing away, and also its lusts, but the one who does the will of God lives forever. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh, sin, will from the flesh reap corruption in hell. But the one who sows to the Spirit in the peace of Christ will from the Spirit reap eternal life in heaven. But the Spirit within you Jesus said, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things that you need to know, and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Repent therefore and return, so that your sins may be wiped away, in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Jesus said, Do not worry then, saying, What will we eat? Or, What will we drink? Or, What will we wear for clothing? For the Gentiles eagerly seek all these things. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Jesus said, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my load is light. Jesus said, these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but take courage, I have overcome the world. Consider it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its perfect result, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. In perfect peace, in perfect peace. The steadfast of mind you will keep in perfect peace, because he trusts in you. If what you heard from the beginning, the gospel, abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. This is the promise which he himself made to us, eternal life.
please join with me to close in prayer. O oh God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we give thanks to you, our solid rock, our fortress, and our great strength. In the day of persecution, or when we are in danger, we cry out to you, and you always hear our cry and rescue us. Also, we praise your name, Lord God, for continually sheltering us in your sanctuary of peace. We lift all our prayers to you in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.